I want to show you guys how I got how I get ready for the week. I know I did a five minute. Good morning, you guys, and happy Saturday. So today I want to show you guys how I got how I get ready for the week. I know I did a five minute video on this before, but I didn't really take you guys through all the details and all the really specifics on how I really get prepared for the week. So you guys are gonna see that. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's go. So on Saturdays, I usually like to clean the house, uh, do laundry, and clean the car. And the reason I do that is because when I just clean my environment or clean my spaces around me, it just puts me like in a better mental health space and it just puts me in a better mood. I am one of those people that I cannot work if there's like dirt around me. It just bothers me and I just keep thinking about it and then I can't focus on my work. So I have found that just cleaning the house, doing laundry, and then cleaning the car so that way all my environments around me are clean, um, just start off my week to a better week already and I just feel more organized and, and ready to go. Okay, you guys, so I just got back from the store. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So we're gonna do a little Marshall's mini haul because there was a lot of stuff that I needed that I need to stock up on, so I'm gonna show you guys. So the first thing I got was these reusable cleaning cloths. I actually had some, and I honestly don't know where they went, so that's why I got some more. Um, these are actually really useful because you don't have to be using like, I know that I, I, I dry my face with sometimes like towels, or um, like paper towels and I know that's not the healthiest or the best for your skin. So these reusable ones are actually really handy and I really like them because you can actually just rewash them and keep reusing them so you don't have to keep buying any. Um, which was the whole point of my first wipes but because of the move, I, everything just got lost. So, and then one thing that I actually discovered in the last couple months, again, I actually had one, but with the move, just everything has been everywhere, so I cannot find it. But I actually got a shampoo and scalp brush. And the reason that sometimes your hair can't grow is because you have scalp issues. So I just know that I actually tried this and I just really, really like it and how it washes my hair. So I also saw these beauty sponges on sale. Um, I had to get them because I actually needed some more beauty sponges and you guys know like beauty sponges get really dirty really fast um, and the more you use them they just don't work as well. So I actually got these two for four dollars which is a steal. And then you guys know that I've been trying to grow my hair out so I really don't like to use like rubber bands anymore for your hair. Um, I really like to use clips, so I actually got these clips so that way when I have to do my skincare or my makeup, I can actually just use clips instead of using rubber bands all the time. So these are really handy. I love using my hair clips. And you guys know that winter is coming. I don't know if you guys really live on the west coast, east coast, but I know in Cincinnati it's already cold. I know I'm, I'm still in Arizona, but it still gets chilly over here. But I actually picked up some lip scrub for my lips. Um, you guys know that I do not like having dry lips. And you guys do need a lip scrub to make sure you guys can exfoliate them before you even put any chapstick on them. Um, or else chapstick's not gonna work. And then lastly, I finally picked up some lash glue. So I actually have been getting my eyelashes done for a couple of months now, but I haven't gotten them done. Um, I moved, so I didn't need to buy any lash tags. So if you guys know anybody in Arizona that do eyelashes, drop them down below. But I actually got lash glue because I'm going to give her a shout out, but Gypsy's Boutique. She sent me a bunch of eyelashes when I was doing some social media work for her for her business. And she sent me a bunch of free products. She sent me eyelashes and I still have a whole pack in my closet. So I still wanna, you know, really try to use them. So I got some glue and I'll leave the links down below if you guys wanna go check out her lash line. So that was everything on the beauty side, just some essentials that I had to pick up. But I actually went to the grocery store and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I got. Pick up some bread, I got some empanadas because my boyfriend is obsessed with them. And I picked up some pico de gallo. I actually just picked this one up because it's easier and it's already done. I picked up some salsa chile árbol. I love this. You guys know that I love my spicy salsas. And this has been 
one of the spiciest sauces that I've tried so far that I've been out here and it is so good. I got it at Food City. Cream cheese. I had to get some more almond milk for my protein shakes, which I'm actually gonna show you guys right now in this video how I make that. And then some pumpkin spice creamer. So if you guys follow me on TikTok, you guys know that I have been experimenting with coffees and how to make them better. And I actually picked up a pumpkin spice vegan creamer in November, in October. So that's when my addiction began and I picked up another one to see how I can make my coffee even better. Okay, so now you guys are going to see me clean the house and go ahead and do my self-care because I do like to do self-care on Saturdays and after that I'm probably going to clean the car out and then just have everything ready to do laundry either today or another day. I don't always do laundry on Saturdays but I at least like to know, you know, when I'm going to do it so that way I can enter the week organized and again I just keep track of everything. So when it comes to planning, the first thing I like to do is set my monthly goals. Next is writing down any important dates. And lastly is planning every single day to a T to make sure I'm successful every single day. Hey you guys, you guys are seeing me bare with no makeup, but I want to show you guys a full self-care routine and how I take care of myself. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is spray my hair with its avocado oil and then I also have another serum in here and it's for hair growth. So I'm going to go ahead and spray on my hair and brush my hair. Next, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face and my teeth because it is part of my self-care routine and I'm going to be using this CeraVe facial wash. After I finish that, I'm going to go ahead and exfoliate my lips and I'm going to be using this Rout Velvet Lip Scrub. I actually got this from Marshalls, but you guys can either make a lip scrub or purchase a lip scrub. Again, lip scrubs are just really, really beneficial so you guys can get all the dead skin off your lips and then that way when you apply chapstick, your lips will actually be smooth. On self-care days, I like to clean everything, so I'm going to go ahead and clean my ears. I use Q-tips. If you guys have another way of cleaning them, then go ahead and do so. This is my easy little way to clean them. So now I'm going to go ahead and exfoliate my face. I exfoliate my face with this brush. It actually used to work when my battery stopped working, so I just do it like by myself by scrubbing my face. If you guys have a better way to exfoliate your face, comment down below. But I personally like to exfoliate my face once a week for now. I know that you can do it more, but that just works for me because my skin is dry, so do whatever works for you. And exfoliating again is just really important to get all those dead skin cells and then that way when you apply your skincare routine it applies so much better. So next I'm going to be doing the hair removal of my self care process. So you guys know that your girl is very very hairy because I am Latina. So every week I like to clean up my hair on my face. So I like to do my eyebrows, I like to do my upper lip and then I also like to take some of my hair off on my skin. So for that, I will be using this. You guys can get this from like a dollar store, Kroger, but I'm simply gonna be going like this down and just taking all that excess hair um, and then my upper lip and then of course around my eyebrows. Then after that, I'm gonna be using this to pluck like the extra hairs. And then after that, I'm gonna be waxing my underarms. I'm not gonna show you guys that process, but if you guys want me to show you how I do that, I will make another video for that but I'm going to be using these strips. So I'm going to go ahead and do the hair removal on my self hair and all of that. So next, I'm going to be doing my teeth whitening system. I use this system. I actually bought it from a local black owned business, but all I do is put this on my teeth and then I actually put this inside the thing. Um, and then I just put it inside my mouth. So I'm going to be doing my teeth whitening system and then I'll show you guys what I do next. And lastly, I like to do my toenails. So you guys know I usually get my nails done, but they all fell off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a top coat on them and then do my toenails. And that's it for my self care routine. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know down below if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on self care. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare routine. I'm gonna go ahead and start up a toner. I currently use this weekend glow toner so i'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare routine and get ready for the day